What's up everyone? So today we're going to be diving deep. You've probably seen and heard the hype about these names, which is V0 by Bursell, Lovable.dev, Bolt, Firebase Studio. These vibe coding tools are promising to change how we build, right? They promise to spin up apps with a prompt and go from idea to MVP in minutes, which sounds amazing. But here's the million dollar question. Do they actually work or is it all just marketing fluff? Well, we decided to put them to the ultimate test. No softball questions, no easy passes. We're pitting them head to head. Same exact challenge, and we're gonna see who comes out on top. Or if any of them even cross the finish line. So now, why are we doing this? Sure, tool comparisons are fun, but we had a real project in mind. So we're building something for the folks who backed us when we had nothing. The early day people, the real sharers, the people in our comment section who gave us constructive feedback and made every single experiment much better. And this is none other than our community. And this time, we're giving back. So what do you build for people who've given you everything? We've asked ourselves this question for weeks. Another newsletter? Nah, that's too boring. A merch drop? I mean, it's fun, but very, very surface level. A thank you Zoom call? I mean, that's halfway there, but still not good enough. We wanted something useful. Something that doesn't fade after one weekend of hype. And after all the whiteboarding, we landed on one idea, which is a talent directory. A single public place where builders, designers, writers, marketers, basically anyone in our community can do the following things. They can show up, list their skills, whether it's React, Figma, Canva, whatever, and tell the world what they're looking for. Freelance gigs, co-founders, full-time roles, collabs, users, you name it. And why? Because visibility equals luck and luck equals opportunities. If one recruiter, one founder, or one random internet stranger clicks on the profile and says, hey, I wanna work with this human, our mission just got accomplished. And who knows, six months later, it might even evolve into an AI-powered intro engine or a self-updating skills graph. But for day one, we just need a clean database with a pretty front end that works. So here's what our game plan is. One PRD, three builders, and one winner. Because this is Builder Central, we're not just going to make a landing page in this video. We'll compare the top quick build AI platforms with the same requirements, same prompt, head to head. So the four big names that you hear online right now are V0 by Bursell, Lovable.dev, Bolt.new and Firebase Studio. And before we jump into our main video here, we had to see if all of these are even good enough for the fight. And we have some bad news. So we, we did a quick reality check and Firebase Studio, let's be polite, is not ready for it. I mean, no diss, they've done a great job, but unfortunately, it's not keeping up with the rest of the three. And there's lots of clicking, very few aha moments, and zero joy. So we're dropping Firebase early to save everyone's sanity. That leaves us with V0, Lovable, and Bolt. So now, let's talk about how we're gonna do it. Spin up a React frontend, handle authentication, plug into a database, and let us draw raw code if we need to. So step number one, we're writing the one PRD to rule them all. So before any code, zero keystrokes, we open Claude to give it a rough idea of what we need and to get a really good PRD or let's say a doc with everything in one place. The prompt was really simple. Write a complete PRD for a Builder Central talent directory. So that was our prompt and Claude spit out a beautiful document in seconds. So we copy that PRD as it is. This doc is our single source of truth and we're going to feed it into each builder to see who delivers fastest and cleanest. Okay, here's a little bit of an uncomfortable truth for a lot of you. Prompting is the new planning, folks. So with that being said, let the games begin. So now that we have the PRD, we know exactly what we're building. So let's quickly sign up for all of these AI tools. So basically what we need to do now is put that PRD in and just click Submit. All right, so we've now put our prompt into each of these AI editors. They're going to take a sweet time, digest what we've asked them to do and what we're trying to achieve. Then they're going to mostly spin up a preview or something, but we need to wait for now. Okay, so Bolt is super, super fast, and we've gotten a sleek design with good copy, random names, and everything. So let's test it out to see if it's just front-end or if there's any logic at all used. <laughs> no logic or retrieval happening here. It's just a fancy front-end for now. Okay, let's scroll down and see what else is working. Okay, these icons aren't working either. Theme selector should be working. It's basic, simple JS code. Okay, yes it is, thank God. Now, let's see what happens when we sign up here. Okay. Okay, whoa. The flow of the sign up, it actually works, man. Not bad. Oh, 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 sorry. Actually, no. The flow is in place, but nothing happens after putting in my details. 
Okay, we'll come back to this in a while. Let's move the lovable for now. Eight. We're on lovable. Okay, so I'm assuming we would have got a simple web page here by now as well. So let's do the same activity here. Click all the buttons. Click search. Check in the sign in. Sign up flow. But now we can actually see what works and doesn't work. Okay, so after comparing Bolt versus Lovable, I'm sorry to say that Lovable is ending up on the bottom. It's given us so many things to click, but nothing works at all. Okay, so now we're going to move on to V0 with the exact same script. All right. And doing random clicks. I'm going to get it onboarded as talent and see how it works. Okay. So none of these AI editors go beyond asking for our name. That's it. So this might be because we don't have a database and an authentication system in place. So let's fix that with a simple prompt and ask to integrate Superbase and authentication. Okay, so now we're going to keep doing whatever comes up on our screen. This is a basic process of attaching any software services to web apps. So it shouldn't take that long. Okay, now we'll give it all the keys it needs, all the access, gates, whatever. Even after all that, it's not working, guys. Not even a single app. But we've tried everything out there without of credits. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe we can try this another time in another day. But for 24 hours, we're pretty much stuck. And honestly, having one solid PRD written by Claude saved us hours of hassle. Copy paste prompt, compare results, and you're done. So, now we have close to nothing. <laughs> Just a front end that shows too many things, but isn't capable of doing anything. And here's what we need. Public sign-in with email magic links, an avatar plus skill chip profile cards, and search and filter by skill tag. Another thing we need is an admin view with approve or reject toggle, so that way no trolls can slip through the gaps. So we're going to try and make it. If you all want to get started with whatever we've covered in the past, please go ahead and make a version of it. You have our consent. So we're going to create a GitHub repository and we're going to leave the link for that in the description below. So if any of you all are taking the initiative to build any of these applications, please submit it through that link itself. If you enjoyed this process breakdown, make sure you hit like, smash subscribe, drop your ideas for our next video in the comments below. And until next time, keep building and keep experimenting.